Do you have a themed fabric that's got you a little stumped? Well, we're gonna show you how to jazz that up. Keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe, and I'm your fabric matchmaker. Today on Matchmaker, we've got some great themed fabric that we're gonna go through. But first, I would like to share with you what we do here on Matchmaker. We actually take swatches of fabric from you, our viewers, and then we match them up and select a pattern for you so that you get the best results possible. Now, if you would like to participate in Matchmaker, be sure and stay till the end and we'll show you how to do that. So let's jump in and talk about our very first swatch that was sent in by Karen. Now, Karen sent us this gorgeous sea glass and I just love all of the colors in this. And it had her a little stumped. So let's go ahead and read the letter and see what she says about this. So Karen writes, first, let me say how much I appreciate Fabric Matchmaker. Thank you, Karen. It has really helped me to see fabric matching in a new way. I also enjoy your explanations on how and why you choose the fabric and pattern. I grew up on the coast of Maine, so when I saw the sea glass fabric, I had to have it. The colors are gorgeous. However, after having it in my stash for several years, I am stumped on what to do with it. Is it the focus fabric or is it a background fabric? I do not yet know who this quilt will go to. Someone who has a serious illness will receive it so they know someone is thinking of them. Thank you for your help. Kind regards, Karen. Well, Karen, this is wonderful, and I appreciate you making something to help comfort someone's day, and I think that we've got just the thing to do with your sea glass fabric. So the pattern that we've chosen for you, Karen, is Wondering Way. And I really like this pattern, and I think it's one of our hidden gems here at Fabric Cafe. We don't use it as often as we ought to, because I think it's got some great movement here, some great contrast. I think this is gonna work perfectly for your fabric. Let's go ahead and put it on the table, and we'll step through some reasons why I chose Wondering Way. Okay, I really like this pattern. Now, your sea glass fabric here does have a bit of a beach theme. So part of the reason why I chose Wondering Way is because I feel like this movement of the fabric number three, the purple on top here, really kind of looks like a trail in the sand, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna move over the two fabrics that we have selected to go with yours and how gorgeous, I just love these. Now I have chosen to put your sea glass fabric in position three because it was the darkest of the two that I found to match with it. The other reason why I did that is our number three fabric is kind of like this surface print here, this little pattern that goes across the front. And I really wanted that to be dominant because we know that you love that fabric and we want that one to be the one that you see right off the bat. So this is what we've done. We've got this stripe fabric for our number one. Is this not gorgeous? I'm just gonna fold back my number two here so that you can see. Isn't it great how all of the colors in this kind of a watercolor stripe matches all of these colors in your sea glass? I just thought it was gorgeous. So our number one fabric is everywhere this kind of turquoise blue is on Wondering Way. Now it's also gonna be on the border and binding, which I think is great because when we do that, it'll go this way, which is super. Okay, now so that is our number one fabric. Now our number two fabric will be in the background everywhere this white section is, and I was able to find these so perfect sand dollars. And this is just in a beige, and I think it works so well in the background because it looks like you're on the beach. I mean, it's the color of sand and it's the sand dollars, and I just think it's wonderful. Now the sea glass is your number three, and as we've already mentioned, it looks perfect with our focus fabric. Your sea glass is gonna go everywhere the purple is on this one and I think it just turned out so beautifully. Now it's also got that kind of peacefulness that you would have if you were taking an early morning walk on the beach, which is one of my favorite things in the world to do. So I just think it conveys that and it's very peaceful and very calming and relaxing. So let's check out the image of that for you. And as you can see, it really does blend beautifully together. 
and it creates such a great feel. I love the way the colors perfectly play together and I think it's just great. Now our Wondering Way pattern comes from our book Quilts in a Jiffy and for participating today Karen I am going to be sending you the Quilts in the Jiffy book that has the Wondering Way pattern in it as well as the fabrics one and two. So I hope that just turns out beautifully for you. I'd love to see an image. Be sure and reach out and send that to me. I would love to see that. All right, now let's check out the kit for everyone else. Now I love it whenever I can find something really close. That's always my goal because these fabrics that the participants send in, you guys just send in the best fabric. So I always try to get something really close. So what we've done here is we're using the same focus and number two fabric and I was able to find some sea glass which I'm just thrilled about. It's slightly different colorway but I think it still looks absolutely gorgeous. So let's step through again. So fabric number one is our gorgeous stripe. It will go everywhere the turquoise is on this one. Then our number two is the fun sand dollar. That's our background. That's going to go everywhere the white is. And then our number three, gorgeous sand, sea glass, great with our number one. It will go everywhere the purple is on this. Isn't it just gorgeous? Now look at the image on the screen and I just think it looks amazing and has that same peacefulness like a morning walk on the beach. I just think it is turned out fabulous. All right, so our kit information on this one, it is called Beach Memories, which is exactly what I'm doing, thinking about walking on the beach. The number is 8023128. The pattern is Wandering Way from our book, Quilts in a Jiffy. The alternate pattern we're suggesting is Jigsaw. Now our next story comes from Suzanne, and she has sent us this great music fabric. Now this is very nice fabric. It kind of has a little bit, it's neat because it has this watercolor look on all of the instruments, almost like it's been freshly painted. So I really thought it was very interesting. So let's read Suzanne's story and see what she says about this fabric. Suzanne writes, I bought this fabric to make a quilt for a close family friend. My dad was a music teacher, and this person was his student and protege. She became an instrumental music teacher. She spent a lot of time with our family and became my mom's best friend and a big sister to me and my sisters. She was our instrumental music teacher when we were in junior high school. After she retired, she continued to organize brass ensembles that my dad and her former students participated in. When I was installed as a postmaster, she brought her brass ensemble to play at the ceremony. She also organized a brass ensemble to play for the very sad event, my father's funeral. I bought this fabric about two or three years ago, and I haven't been able to come up with a design or been able to match the fabrics. I really want to make a quilt to honor her for all she has done for us and how much she has meant to us for my many years. Her favorite color is blue. I don't know if that will work, but I thought I'd mention it. Thank you for your consideration, Suzanne. Well, Suzanne, I think I've been able to pull something lovely together and we have just a little blue for you. So let's start out looking at the pattern. So the pattern that I have chosen for you is chain reaction. Now I like chain reaction because it has a large space right here so that we can focus a special fabric. And then it's got kind of this entwined feel here. And I think it's really cool because to me, whenever you have this interlocking entwined feel like that, it means connection. And I think that picking this pattern was important to me because I know how someone can be adopted into a family and there's that connection there and you just love them so much. So that is kind of the symbology of this. Now, as always, you know, I'm a little bit of a fabric rebel. I've shifted some fabric placement around. So let's talk about that. Let's take it and put it on the table and I will show you how we've used your fabric. So as I was mentioning, I did shift your fabric around a little bit. So let's pull the pattern. I'm gonna show you just for a moment. We've got our modern views book. When the pattern was written, we've had our fabric number one as this green here. And then our fabric number three was the purple. The fabric number two is the white and the center. 
but what I have done is I have changed that and I have put your fabric in the number two position. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because I wanted the music fabric to really be framed and focused among these links. So this is what we've got here. We have our beautiful blue that has kind of that warm, um, earthy undertone to it, which your fabric does as well. That was pretty important that I kind of have that dusty blue, beautiful color blue, lots of texture. That's going to be our fabric number one. That goes everywhere the green does. Now your fabric number two is your gorgeous music fabric here. That is going to go in the center of all of these blocks here. Now you do have a directional fabric and that's going to work perfect in the number two position on Chain Reaction. Then our number three fabric is this kind of fun dot here. And that's going to go everywhere the purple is here. And you see how beautifully this particular kind of beigey brown color picks up all of the colors in your fabric. So I thought it was a perfect frame. It kind of picks up all those darkest colors that you have there. So the blue gives it a little bit of a, a warmth and an interest and then the beiges just work beautifully together. So if you look at the image on the screen, you can see how the blue and the beige plays together and how it really frames your instrument fabric. So I thought it worked really well and just sometimes changing up those positions is exactly what you need to get just the right thing. Okay, so for participating today, Suzanne, I'm going to send you a copy of the Modern Views book that has the chain reaction pattern in it as well as a yard of this gorgeous blue and your beige as your number one and number three fabrics. So thank you so very much. Now, because I'm the fabric rebel, you know how that is. You know, us matchmakers just do everything crazy. I have actually chosen a different pattern for the rest of you with an equally gorgeous fabric. So let's check out the pattern. Now I have chosen to use Harmony for our secondary kit here. And I liked Harmony because it had a similar feel of Chain Reaction, but it gave me something that Chain Reaction didn't have. And that is a double focus block. So we've got a nice big snowball block here that I can put a beautiful fabric, and this rectangle block here that I can put a fabric, and then it's all joined with a wonderful background. So let's set it on the table and look at some more music fabric. So this is gorgeous. Now I couldn't find those really soft tones like Suzanne had in her fabric, but I did find this great music fabric. Now, as always, I'm, like I said, I'm the little bit of a rebel here. Now, we have switched up some of our positions as well. So typically, this right here is our number two fabric. And because I wanted the number two fabric in my case, or this fabric here, to be like in a focus block, I've changed it up. So I'm just going to move it right here on the spot so that you can see. So I am going to put the black as the number two, these gorgeous instruments as the number one, and this music fabric as number three. So yep, moving it up, but remember, any three yards can work in any position in our patterns, as long as you cut all of the cuts from that yard that are listed. So it's going to work perfectly. So this is how this is going to, to flush out here. We've got our number one fabric with this great instrument. It's going to go in this block here, this nice big snowball block. Then our number two fabric, which is this great black with a little bit of gold in it. And this fabric has a little gold too, so it's going to pick all of that up. This fabric, our new number two, is going to go everywhere this teal is. So it's going to be our background. It's really going to frame all these other parts. Then our number three, and remember we're breaking the rules here, is going to be the music fabric. Now the music fabric has lots of black in it, but it also has a lot of these colors. It is going to go in this position here so that this is music and then these are your instruments framed by the black. So really, really thought that this turned out great. And I just sometimes swapping up your fabrics and playing around with it, you can come up with something really dynamic like this. So on the image on the screen, you can see how that black frames the music so beautifully. And I think it adds kind of a 
formality and elegance to the music fabric. So I could see this draped over a chair next to a baby grand piano. Would that not just be the perfect scenario? And it just kind of looks like that whenever you're looking at the quilt. So it's super awesome. Just love it. All right, our kit information on that. Let me grab it here. It is called Musical Inspiration. The number is 8023129. The pattern is Harmony from the Easy Does It book. And our alternate pattern that we're suggesting is Byzantine Door. Our next swatch was sent in by Bethany. And Bethany sent in this darling swatch with the butterflies on it. Now it's a red butterfly with a little bit of yellow and a pink background with hearts. Very cute, very sweet. Let's see what Bethany has to say about this fabric. Bethany writes, while visiting our family in Alaska, I found a one yard cut of this sweet fabric in a hardware store in Homer. I wanna use it to make a quilt for our seven year old granddaughter as a reminder of our visit there. We have no fabric or quilt shops in our Texas town, just two big box stores. I haven't been able to find just the right fabrics to match it. I enjoy watching the Fabric Matchmaker episodes as you match fabrics and patterns. I would sure appreciate your help. This is the part of quilting that I struggle with the most. Thanks so much, Bethany. Well, Bethany, I hope that we've been able to pull something perfect together for you. So let's start out by looking at the pattern. So the pattern that I have chosen for your butterfly fabric is the courtyard pattern. Now this is kind of a fun pattern because it has a lot of movement and I thought that with the butterflies, it needed a lot of movement. So I like this little pinwheel here, this little windmill kind of effect here. So it's going all which way, so it looks like it's spinning. And then we have a nice square and a square. Now our focus fabric is on this part of the block. So it's really cool. Let's put it on the table and I'll show you how we're gonna incorporate your fabric. Okay, so the focus fabric on the courtyard is this larger print here and it is bordering the square and square block as well as just a little on the border. Now I have placed your butterfly fabric in the number one position. So what's gonna happen here is all the butterflies will be right here. Now your focus fabric, because I left it in the focus position, is a little bit smaller print. So I thought it could go in a pattern like courtyard because it is a smaller area where it's showing. But you certainly want it to show up and you want to be able to see it and see how darling the fabric is. Okay, the other challenge I have with your fabric, not just a small print for a focus, but is because it's such a sweet print with the butterflies and everything, but it has some dark reds in it. So I really had to think about what I was going to do with it. So instead of trying to match the pink in the background, I went ahead and contrasted the fabric so that it really gave you a nice punch and a nice pop and your focus fabric still stands out really well. So like I said, the butterfly is in the focus position, the number one position, and then this nice kind of a white and gray as our number two. Now this is gonna go everywhere you see the beige here and of course on the border. Now, as you can see, this has a lot of contrast, and this is kind of a sweet, subtle print, so it's almost like the butterflies are in the garden. Now, our number three fabric is this red polka dot. Now, like I said before, you've got this sweet print on your fabric, but your butterflies are definitely in the red tone. So I decided to go ahead and pull the reds in it, put a little polka dot in there, it's a little white polka dot, picks up our number two, and I think it all coordinates really, really well. So this fabric number three is gonna go in this position here, as well as the center of your main block here. So you can see that it's gonna work really, really well, and it's gonna help your focus fabric really be the star of the show still, even though it's a smaller print. Now we have that image for you, so whenever you see it, you can see what I mean about the contrast and the pop, and how it really gives a nice pleasing effect and keeping your fabric in the number one position. So this pattern is from our Fast and Fun book. And Bethany, I'm gonna be sending you this that has the courtyard pattern in it, as well as one yard of the fabric two and three. And I hope it just turns out lovely and that your granddaughter loves it. All right, now have something fun for everybody else. I wanna be sure and share that as well. So we have some other butterfly fabric. Now it's similar, 
because we've got a pink background, a little bit lighter background, but we have some multicolor butterflies on this one. Now this is still a small print, so it's perfect still in our number one position that's gonna be here. Then our number two, a very similar white on gray that kind of feels like the butterfly garden. It gives us that garden aspect. That's gonna go everywhere the beige is. And then a nice pink that picks up our background colors, lots of good texture. This is gonna be our windmill here and the very center of our block. I thought this coordinated so very well. Gives us a similar feel of Bethany's quilt, but just in a little bit different color way. Now, if you look on the screen, you can see this turned out so super sweet. I just think it's wonderful. And I really love the inspiration that all of you give me to pull some of these together because I wouldn't have given it the same thought without your inspiration and sending your fabrics in. So it's really helpful and it's really a fun thing that I get to do. All right, the kit information on this one. This is called Butterfly Family. The number is 8023130. The pattern is Courtyard and it is from the Fast and Fun book. So all of this theme fabric has me thinking just a little bit. So if you were a themed fabric, what theme would you be? I'd love to hear. Me? I would be this bright, bold, huge print with lots of graphic elements and be screaming in your face. That's just me. What would you be? Would you be more like the butterfly or would you be more musical? I would love to hear. Now, if you would like to send in your fabric swatch for Fabric Matchmaker, all you have to do is to go to our website, fabriccafe.com, click on the free goodies tab, and you will see a submission form for the Fabric Matchmaker. All you have to do is send in a swatch of fabric and fill it out completely, and we will start looking for matchers for you and select a pattern. Now, just as a reminder, I really do love a 12 inch swatch. It does make it a little bit easier for me. So if at all possible, please send in a 12 inch swatch. It's Fran Morgan and I am your fabric matchmaker.